Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. It is time for the Saturday, Saturday vloggy thing. Uh, this is of course my co-host, Oscar, my teeny teeny kitty. Aren't you teeny? Yes. You're very sweet. Oh, and it's time for you to go on your back so you don't claw me. There we go. Hi. What are you doing? Do you want to talk to your friends? No. Mama has a flavor. Boop. Anyway, there's the Oscar today. He was in here going, rah, rah, so I picked him up and decided he should be on camera because he is the most photogenic one in this house. Oh, but he's chompy. He's chompy. Oh, he's chomping mama. He's getting down. He's too chompy. Oh, now he's being sweet. See? Chompy and then sweet. Oh, and then chompy again. Anyway, the Saturday vloggy thing, where I kind of go over things that have been happening throughout the week and just give an update on where I am, where my life is, where my crochet is. And this week, it's a struggle. It really has been. Uh, my crojo has often walked away somewhere. I am still keeping up with the make-alongs that I am part of, uh, including my, my own temperature blanket and the hashtag uh, rock 2022 AU, but that's pretty much all that I've been doing and it's kind of sad. Yeah um, Because work is taking up all of my brain space and I don't get to watch anybody's videos anymore Work is taking up so much of my brain space that I can't do what I used to do Which is you know kind of watch videos while I worked or listen to videos mostly while I worked uh, Which kept me involved in the community the community which I really love I feel like I'm in the outside looking in again and that's not a nice feeling no and I was thinking about doing crochet tober again this year I was supposed to have a swap with somebody uh, to where we swap stuff and had stuff to do every single day to make a little video every day but after a couple of inquiries I never heard back um, so I didn't send the stuff out I didn't want somebody to feel obligated to have to do something if they weren't into it and I never received anything or received any other input about it. So I have all the stuff here and it's just going to sit here, I guess. Maybe I'll use it in giveaways. Maybe I'll use it for myself. It's mostly Halloween themed stuff, which I do like, but I haven't really put up any decorations. Um, work has been intense. There's a lot to learn and having a team of 12 people that have a lot of stuff to do. It's like herding kittens. You ever try to herd kittens before? not the easiest thing to do, especially when you're not hurting them by way of making noise and, and, you know, make, making them scatter by clapping your hands really loud. You don't want to do that. You're trying to just guide and, you know, different personalities. Although I have to say, I really do have a good team. Things have been going pretty well in that respect, but it's just been kind of crazy. One of my team members fell a couple of days ago and hurt her back. It's just she was out for a couple of days. She literally could not sit at her desk and work. I get it. I don't blame her a bit. I mean, you know, she's a very hard worker and does not like missing work. <laughs> but she was in too much pain. So hopefully uh, she'll be able to be back on Monday. Although I will be there Monday. I'm off this coming week. So yes, I have all those days off in a row. What am I going to do? I might do some crochet. I hope so. Um... Other than that, I have a dentist appointment. I was supposed to have a dentist appointment on Wednesday, and I went. But then I found out when I got there that the uh, people that, you know, work the office and stuff also found out that the dentist fell the night before, tripped on a concrete sidewalk or something, and fell and, like, busted his face. Yeah. So they said, yeah, he said that he was coming in later, but we don't think he should. <laughs> Um, yeah, but he's an older fellow and had been out exercising and tripped on a bad place on the sidewalk and just kerchunk, you know, yeah, no fun, no fun. I hope that he feels better. And I was able to get an appointment for, you know, this coming week, which I already had off work, so I didn't have to take off more time. So I'll be doing that. Um, I did get a little bit of crochet done. We'll look at that shortly. There wasn't really any shopping to speak of or anything this week. Um, did a whole lot of just, you know, hanging out at the house, doing some cooking, grocery shopping and that sort of stuff. 
but that's been pretty much it. Um, we were, oh, we did go walk around Burlington the other night. We met a friend for, you know, what I call one of the El Cheapo dinners. We went to Five Guys. We met at Five Guys and had fries and burgers. And um, there's a Burlington like a half a mile from there. So we went in there. I wanted to get in there and walk around a little bit. Okay. So we did that. And I did pick up a couple of things. I picked up an enormous mixing bowl. I'm talking like this. Okay. Um, I was joking around. I pointed at it and said, wow, a bowl that might actually be big enough for me to mix my meatloaf in. And we looked at the price and it was like 12 bucks. And I'm like, a stainless steel bowl. Okay. Should I get it? Should I get it? Yeah, you should get it. So I got it. I bought a mixing bowl. Uh, how exciting, right? And I also picked up uh, one of those clear plastic, you know, organizer -y type of things for eggs. It has all the slots for eggs and it holds 21 eggs because I always buy my eggs by the 18 pack. So I'm always, I, and I set the egg carton on the bottom and then I do stack stuff on top of it. And I have broken some eggs before doing that. Now I can stack on top of it without worry because, you know, we have one of those side-by-side -side fridges that don't have a lot of room. But, uh, yeah. So I did get one of those. And that was six bucks. Not bad. And got a couple of snacky things. We got some plantain chips and stuff that were on sale. So that, that was my shopping trip. Uh, nothing crafty or anything like that. I didn't buy any clothes. Um, we just, we walked around and looked at stuff and tried to avoid the shrieklings that were in there. I don't understand why people bring small children um, into a store at nine o'clock at night. Not just small children either. They, they also, there was a couple of small ones that were just doing that shrieking thing that toddlers do that are just, okay. But then there were some older ones who should know better or their parents could have told them to stop who were just running around and screaming. I'm talking literally running in circles. Um, yeah. It's unacceptable. It is unacceptable to me. Um, but anyway, trying to avoid all that nonsense. Uh, so we did that and came, we took a ride and came home, we sort of took the long way home. Luckily, we drive a hybrid, we get good mileage, and we're just kind of putting around back roads, you know, to take the long way home. It's relaxing. We play the music. It's, you know, that that's our entertainment. Plus, entertainment is watching some TV. Uh, we stream. We have a uh, Hulu... Netflix and like Paramount Plus and a couple of other things, of course, because that's how we get our TV. Um, there's a show that's been on for several seasons now, maybe more than several, called The Rookie. It's a police procedural, but it really is backed by um, really good character development. And, you know, with the first part of the season, you thought, wow, there's going to be a few one dimensionals in there. No, there is not a one dimensional character in this whole show. And I'm and I'm here for it. And I really, really enjoyed it. Nathan Fillion is the star of that one and this big ensemble cast. And some people were like, well, it's not so much about, you know, blah, blah, blah anymore. It's, it's all everybody. Yes, it's everybody. That's what makes it so cool. And there are story arcs in it. If you decide to go watch it, start from the beginning and binge it. OK you won't be sorry. It's great. And the reason I'm bringing that up is there's a spinoff, a spinoff that just started the other day and it's called Rookie Feds and it is starring Niecy Nash. Niecy Nash Betts, I think it is. Now y'all just may think of Niecy Nash as just this wild and over the top person. And yes, she is. She is just boom. She is extra. Okay. And she's kind of extra in this show too, but Similar thing as with the rookie is a uh, oldest rookie, you know, decided to change careers because it's what she always wanted to do um, in her 40s. She became an FBI agent. Okay, that's where that all starts. And she is a total out of the box thinker. She used to be a school guidance counselor who also sometimes taught driver's ed. <laughs> so it's great. I really enjoy it. Um, we are glad that it's turned out the way it is. And also I understand she has done some dramatic work and something that I have not seen yet. One of the Dahmer special things, the, the Dahmer movies. Um, Niecy Nash has some range. Don't count her out, but I absolutely adore her. I think she's a lot of fun. Um, but the, the, the show itself, we were very entertained and 
there is definitely going to be some depth there. The, the little little peaks that you're getting of some of the characters. Because they introduce the character and some of the other characters from Rookie Feds at the very end of the last season of the of the Rookie. And it was kind of a meshed in and then they're branching off. And I thought that was super cool. So, yes. Uh, waiting for a couple of other things to come back. Waiting for Blacklist to come back. Uh, still have not started watching um, the uh, new Game of Thrones thing. Because we're not going to pay, you know, what is it? $15 a month or something for HBO Max. No, that's too much. We'll wait until a friend records it for us. Or until it ends up being available at a cheaper rate when somebody has a special or something because we're just not paying that kind of money. So we're waiting on that. Um, but we will catch up. We always do with all the ones that we are just really super into. We have Paramount Plus so that we have access to all of the Star Trek things. All of them. They're all there now. And Lower Decks is coming back or is back already, but we haven't watched one of the two. Um, and some other of the series. Yes, we are Star Trek fanatics. I've been watching Star Trek pretty much since birth. Uh, the hubby started watching Star Trek when he was a small child because that's when it came out. And that's why they had their first color television. Because his dad wanted to see if the green dude was really green. Yeah. There is that. Uh... <laughs> But yeah, it, it came out before I was born and it was in reruns by the time I was born. I was born in 70. And my mother used to prop me up in front of Star Trek and in front of Sesame Street when I was just an infant. That should explain a lot. A lot. So there's that. As far as crochet goes, um, I'm going to show you once again something that is in my thumbnail and will be in a little bit of a slideshow afterwards. Don't go away. I'm not going to bother pausing for this. And that is this. This was last year's uh, Crochet Tober blanket that I did. Just a little bit every day, random colors, and the spider web thing in between. It's pulled out because we finally got some chilly weather, and I was happy for that. It got down to like 48 one night, and I had the window open because, of course, I did. So I got a little chilly, and I put this on top of my regular covers, and it was nice and cozy. And uh, I love how colorful this is. A lot of great color in this, and it's just random, you know, mostly four weight yarns that I have, and just basic granny, and I had never done anything like this before, so yeah, I still like it. I just don't feel like I have it in me to do another one this year, to do it in a month, and keep up with it, as well as keeping up with a vloggy thing. It's just not going to happen. I just don't have it in me. I wish I did, but I'm just, I have to be realistic with my expectations. Um, otherwise, for crochet, let's uh, toss that back on the bed. Oh, before I get into other crochet, I did have some happy mail. Um, I am still a member of Garden State Gardener, Joe, who is a great guy. I just haven't been watching the videos and I haven't been participating in the fun lives. I wish I had, but it just, again, mental bandwidth. I just can't. But since I am still a member, I did get my member gift in the mail. And uh, it's super cute. Look. I don't know a lot of y'all have seen these before. It's like a yarn ball, but it's also uh, almost like a, um, hello, like a beehive kind of deal. With a little bee right there and a little flower. But I thought that was super cute. And I will probably hang it on one of my bags. Because I really like it. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. I really do. And uh, it did make me smile, definitely, to get some Happy Meal yesterday. So, yeah. Definitely got me a little tickled. Because, you know, Happy Meal is a little few and far between. But, there we go. Oh, and speaking of Happy Meal and stuff like that, Kathy, I have not forgotten your winnings. They are still sitting on my table in the other room waiting for me to put it in an envelope and get it out to you. So that will be happening now that I'm off this week and I can, you know, leave the house at <laughs> other times besides middle of the night. Um, so don't fret. I have not forgotten, but I'm really bad about getting back with emails because work emails take up a lot of this. Yeah. 
not making excuses, just telling you the reasons. That's just what happens. I have been keeping up with my temperature blanket mostly. I'm two days behind right now, but with my temperature blanket, I told you, I chose to make it the easy way, and that's why. Little bitty squares for each day. Two days behind on this week, and I don't even know how many squares are here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I'm almost at the end of another row. When I get 19 across, it'll get added to the blanket, which I'll show you in a second. But some more slightly lighter colors. That middle color, mm-hmm, a few lighter days. The, the inner color is my low temperature for the day. The outer color is the high temperature for the day. And that's it. It is a two-row little stinking granny that's joined together with a purposely visible seam. Because if you're new here, you may not have seen this. If you're new here, welcome, by the way. Um, this is what my blanket is starting to look like. And I'm over halfway there. We are into um, October now. So look at this. I am tickled with how this is turning out. And I would like to do, uh, even despite my crow joke, I want to do another temperature project for next year. I need to decide what I'm doing and how I'm going to do it so that I can start it right at the beginning of the year. Because I like to start it in January, you know. Anyway, there's the cold months beginning of the beginning of the year with those, those whites in the middle. It was cold. Cold for here, okay? Not cold for Canada <laughs> or anything like that cold for here in North Georgia. So off to the bed it goes. And I do have a finished object this week, well, a finished portion of a bigger object. Um, like I said earlier, I am participating in the hashtag rock 2022 AU with Judy at Witch Peace Crafts. And I'll have her linked up above and linked down below. Um, this every twice a month, first of the 15th, there uh, is an album cover that gets shared and shown. You are to be inspired by the album or the album cover or the music or the songs or however you want to do to do whatever project you want to do. I decided for the year that I was going to make a square for each one, a big corner to corner square. Um, and at the end of the year, it's going to join them together and make apparently what's going to be an enormous stained glass looking blanket. This one, the, uh, the album for it, is the soundtrack for A Clockwork Orange. Oh yes, very disturbing kind of material, but the album cover is iconic. And, you know, it's also part of the poster as well. You know, mostly it's an image from the poster for the album cover. Do check it out. I will have this and the album cover in the slideshow at the end so you can kind of see them side by side. What I've been doing is I'm just getting inspired by the colors that are present in the album cover. That's it. So that's what I'm doing here. There's a lot of white, there's some black, a uh, little bit of silver, because there's a knife in it. The silver, the silver has sparklies in it. I don't know if you can see that in there. There is some orange, even though it's a clockwork orange, the whole thing is an orange. Um, little stripe of purpley blue, that was the closest color that I had to it. And some gold around the borders of something. So there's that, but you will see that at the end. So enjoy that. I am really looking forward to getting this entire huge stack of squares and seeing how big of a blanket it's going to make. It's going to be massive, massive. There are going to be 24 squares this size and they're going to be joined together. And I may not even put a border on them. I might just put just, just a half double border around it because I think it's already going to be very huge. I may have to buy more black to do that border, but yeah. Most of the colors, most things are big twist, just a value yarn. Some other ones are other yarns that I already had. Like this is a, uh, a Karen Simply Soft Party. It's a black sparkly. Um, I don't remember what the silver is. It's something else that I had that I just have scraps of now. So yeah, it's it's been fun to do. It's been fun to see what it is and then pull out my, I have a huge bag full of mostly big twists and stuff that I've been using for this. Okay, what colors can I pull out of here for what I'm going to do? That that part has been very fun to me and I try not to put it off. I got it done before, the, I, this was done a few days ago. Uh, I, I got it done way ahead of time this time and I was really proud of myself because it's sometimes it's slow going for me, but I was able to, we 
had a car trip we had to go to Gainesville which uh, is in Georgia not Gainesville Florida uh, we had an appointment and I was just riding along and I brought this with me to work on it took about an hour to get there so I was able to really put some put some stitches in get it done so uh what have you been crocheting have you lost your crojo have you ever lost your crojo before mostly because of just like mental bandwidth um that's what's getting me just the the mental bandwidth just isn't there it's it's being occupied by everything else and my floor right now is being occupied by an oscar yes you heard your name didn't you munch he has a lot of names yeah do your pets have multiple names because mine does oscar munch i call him oscar monster munch munch i also talk to him with a little bit of check i tell him to move his bedell which if you know check bedell is you know your booty move your booty you know he hears it all the time he's just sitting there like yeah ma whatever he decided that he had to take part in a couple of meetings this week though at least the people who i have the meetings with are used to that <laughs> and i'm like no do not show them your butt get down here because he, he'll get right in front of the the laptop that has the camera in it because i've got three screens i've got my laptop and two big monitors and he will try he'll turn around right in front of the laptop i'm like you're a little sicko you're a little weirdo showing everybody your butt nobody wants to see that he's giving me those twisted ear things now he's like stop it mom anyway thank you for coming by i really appreciate it we'll slideshow at the end and um i hope that you've had a great week I hope the week to come is filled with happiness and all things Halloween-y because Halloween is coming. It's October. Oh, this is my uh, Want to Raise Some Hell shirt. Oh, trying not to fall. It's it's a pocket. It's like a little skeleton sitting in a pocket. Only just, he stops there. It doesn't continue in the pocket. And I think that's kind of sad. I think he should continue. But Want to Raise Some Hell? Anyway, got this from Torrid a couple years ago. So, yes, always a Torrid girl. Uh have a wonderful day, weekend, week, everything, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.